9529. And we're back with the Wallace Warrior Halftime Show. We are joined by Shauna Zolman. Shauna, thank you for joining us here on the radio tonight. Absolutely. Now, you know, with your father retiring and, um, you know, he's had a long career here at Wallace and you got to play under him for four years. And, you know, up until this season, you were the leading scorer in Indiana history. Now, you know, what was it like watching Jackie Young break your record this season? Yeah, you know, it was interesting. I, I was, uh, my, my attention was brought to it, you know, towards the beginning of the season, just that it was a possibility. And, and um, you know, it was, honestly, it's kind of a weird feeling because initially you're like, oh, man, that stinks. But then you, you realize, like, golly, that was almost 15 years ago. And you got to be happy for a kid who gets to experience probably one of the best memories that I had playing the game. And someone else gets to experience that too. And as, as odd as it seemed at the time, I was just very, very happy for her. I was glad that it went to somebody like her, somebody that, um, I don't know, just exudes humility and wants to be able to make her teammates better. It's not just all about trying to score and get the record. You know. Now, what was it like playing for your dad for all four years of your high school career? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, it was a definitely an adjustment early on because of you know, the, the differentiation between father-daughter and the coach-player. You know, we had to try to navigate through that a little bit. But dad and I have such a great relationship, and our family is so very close. We, uh, we definitely had some boundary lines. But the thing that I loved the most about it was just uh, that I truly trusted him. You know, I trusted him that... He had, he had my best interest in mind, but he also had my teammates' best interest in mind. And um, I trusted him that he was going to to help me in every way possible, get to the next level, and help our team win at every level, too. Now, you know, speaking of the next level, you did go on to play basketball at Tennessee, and then you did end up in the WNBA in San Antonio, I believe, right? Correct. Correct. So what was that like, you know? Being, you know, playing in for at Tennessee, which is you know one of the better Division One women's programs, and then also playing in the WNBA. What was that like playing at that high level of basketball with other extremely talented women? Yeah, the biggest adjustment was honestly from high school to college because uh, it's it's much more physical, it's much quicker. You're constantly told how good you are coming into high school, you can do whatever you want, and then you get into college, and then it's a whole different ball game, you know, and. Uh, the way they prepared you in college and everything that they pushed you and the way that you, you were constantly going against guys at practice mm -hmm. and then playing you know the best and the most difficult schedule, going national championship games, then the transition from college to the pros wasn't quite as difficult. Um, it was almost, honestly much more free uh, just to play the game that, that you were drafted for. Um, but it was absolutely a, and a wonderful experience, a once in a lifetime experience to be able to to, to get a, a goal of yours, a dream. You know, being able to truly get a dream of yours that you had as a little kid um, and get paid to play a game that you love. But it was definitely difficult, and the higher you got up, the more of a job it became. Now, now that you've kind of stepped away a little bit, what are you what are you doing now with your time? Yeah, I work in Seattle, Washington. I'm the director of women's ministry for the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and you know, honestly, primarily, I, I do a lot of listening. I do a lot of listening to the student athletes there at University of Washington. I do a lot of listening to um, Seattle Pacific University students as well. But I'm the chaplain for the Seattle Rain pro soccer team, and then also help out a little bit with the Seattle Storm WNBA. But just do a lot of stuff in the ministry. I, I truly love my, uh, uh, as I was praying, as I was getting out of the game, it's something that I just played ever since I was a kid. That's all I knew. I was praying for something that I had a passion for far greater than I ever had for the game of basketball. Because I just loved it so much. And God truly answered that with what I do and uh, just trying to share hope and trying to share that there's something more out there than just a, a sport that's going to eventually dwindle. So um, I truly do enjoy it. All right, well, thank you for joining us, Shauna. And, you know, welcome back to all the sea for tonight. And um, just congratulations on, you know, just your dad being such a great coach here. And uh, just want to wish you the best as you continue your life. Thank you. Thank you so much.